Hello, and welcome back to our Botswana vlog. In our previous episodes, Milan told you a lot about Botswana and our life there, but the series wouldn't be complete without paying homage to one of Botswana's defining inhabitants, the African elephant. So, in this final episode, I'm taking over the mic to tell you all about my favorite animal. These beautiful creatures can be found to some degree in pockets of most sub-Saharan African countries, but Botswana is home to an estimated 130,000 African elephants, almost one-third of the total population. The species can be subdivided into the bush elephant and the forest elephant, with southern Africa being home to the bush elephant. These matriarchal mammals form herds of cows and their offspring, while the adult males live alone or in small bachelor herds. Botswana's landscape is dominated by the Kalahari Desert, a semi-arid savanna. This harsh climate is not conducive for elephants, but the north of the country is an elephant oasis created by the Okavango Delta and the Chobe River. Elephants can also be found in the east of Botswana, near the Limpopo River. We were extremely privileged to travel to these regions several times and had many close encounters with these magnificent pachyderms. Tourism today accounts for a fifth of Botswana's economy and nearly half of the country is protected wilderness. Elephants have an abundance of space and resources, but not everyone enjoys the animal's affluence. Unlike many conservation areas in Africa, Botswana has few physical fences that separate wilderness zones from areas inhabited by humans. This in turn results in many human-animal conflicts due to competition for water and food resources. Farmers set up electric fences and other deterrents to keep elephants away from their land, crops, and boreholes. But these intelligent animals can easily overcome these obstacles. Sadly, when these methods are unsuccessful, Humans apply more violence and even lethal strategies to protect their land. We encountered several skeletons ourselves. These were most likely elephants who just died of natural causes, but poaching remains a problem across the continent. The African Wildlife Foundation estimates that 35,000 elephants are poached for their tusks annually. Poaching and human-animal conflicts sometimes result in orphaned elephants. There is an elephant orphanage in northern Botswana called Elephant Havens. The orphanage takes in orphaned calves and strives to provide a protected, natural environment where they can grow up and eventually be returned to the wild. Visitors are allowed for one hour a day, but the elephants are not forced to interact with them. They are free to roam around and do what they want. We were lucky that the elephants were curious about us and we got to feed them some fruit and pellets. Of course, allowing tourist visits isn't very natural, but the funding helps to keep the orphanage functioning. Elephants eat roots, grasses, fruits and bark. An adult elephant can consume up to 140 kilograms of food in a single day. These hungry animals only sleep for about two to three hours, roaming great distances while foraging for the large quantities of food that they require to sustain their massive bodies. Their eyesight is relatively poor during the day and is worse at night. They rely on their smell and hearing to navigate the world around them. 
An elephant's keen sense of smell helps it find water up to 20 kilometers away. And it can recognize calls from specific individuals from a distance of up to 1.5 kilometers away. One defining characteristic of an elephant is its huge ears. The large surface area helps funnel sound into the inner ear. But hearing is not all their ears are used for. They also provide thermoregulation. Blood vessels near the surface of the skin can release built-up heat through forced convection as the elephant flaps its ears. As we experienced on a few occasions, a sharp flick of the head combined with an ear flap works wonders to warn others that they're not happy. In our experience, the females tend to be testier and more defensive because they have a herd and offspring to protect. The gestation period for an elephant is a whopping 22 months. The clumsy calves are super cute with their oversized ears and long trunks. Like all young mammals, they're playful and curious about the world around them. Elephants are one of the most intelligent species on Earth. They have remarkable memories, show empathy, grieve their dead, and use tools with their trunk. An elephant's trunk is a unique and extremely useful appendage. With their trunk, elephants can pick up something as small as seeds, but can also lift more than 250 kilograms. It is used to slurp up water before spraying it into their mouth or showering in it. Their trunk also comes in handy for covering their body with dirt, which acts as a sunscreen, insect repellent, and barrier against the heat. To eat, they wrap their trunk around a branch to strip off leaves or yank some tasty grass out of the ground. They even shake off the dirt or wash the grass in water before throwing it down the hatch. You may be wondering whether such a powerful animal with a nearly insatiable hunger has a negative impact on the environment, especially in great numbers. Actually, the opposite is true. Elephants distribute seeds in their dung, which allows new plants to germinate. The dung is even a food source for many creatures, mostly insects. While traipsing through the trees, these behemoths create new paths for smaller animals. Elephants can sniff out water underground and use their trunk to dig holes, creating access to water not only for themselves, but other animals as well. Sadly, the elephant population has been declining across the continent and Botswana is not immune. Climate change, poaching, and habitat destruction all pose a threat. For now, conservation remains a priority in Botswana, but the future of the African elephant is uncertain. Let's hope these beautiful animals are around in great numbers for decades to come. And that wraps up our series of vlogs on Botswana. Tiana and I have thoroughly enjoyed our time in this beautiful country and it was fun to share some of our experiences through these videos. Although we have left Botswana, our adventures continue in other parts of the world. 
I have started a new vlog series on Africa where you can follow our latest travels. Thanks a lot for watching. Kiela Boja.